Uh, Hugh Freeze makes his return to the SEC as head coach of Auburn. I long said that it was time for Hugh to get a shot again at a power five. And I think Auburn made the move to do it. I think it's going to be a good move for them. When you look at Hugh again, you've coached against him. What, Mm -hmm. what makes his offense as an offensive coach yourself, what makes his offense succeed? I think the understanding he has of the offense, I think, you know, they do some unique things. They're up tempo. They're going to spread the field, use different motions and formations. They're, they're going to change up, maybe not plays as much with this crazy schematic plays, but how they do it, you know? And one of the things is uh, you, you talk about, Hey, we're going to get in the same formation and run the same play. Okay, but one time we're going to do it on super tempo. One time we're going to do it slow looking to the sidelines. The next time we're going to move and jump in quick motion people to do it. Um, and so I think that's stuff that causes problems. But also not just that there's one thing to have the playbook to be able to do that. I think Hugh has a great understanding of that offense and how to, to scratch where it itches. Yeah. You know, as soon as he sees your weakness, which is, Okay, when we run this formation and this play series out of super fast tempo, you struggle getting a line. We're only going to do that out of super fast tempo. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, or, hey, but when we do super fast tempo these ways, it's not a problem for you. But when we quick motion, that becomes a problem. So I think he sees it and really knows the ins and outs of his offense that allows him to continue to apply pressure, not just within the scheme, but within the game. What, what was your record against you? <clears throat> Boy, huh? I should have done the research, but I didn't. So I, I need to get it from you. I have to look. I, it was close to five. I think we were like back and forth. And how we many split times? Back and forth. How many times did you guys play against each other? I see. I don't know. I, don't, yeah, I was I, I was there for nine years, but yeah. I, I, there were three different coaches. And Hughes, fi- yeah, Hughes final year there was 2016, I believe, off off memory. I mean. You, you and I talked about it because I, I called the Egg Bowl this year and I wanted to get some some perspective from you. Like, what what was your relationship like with him during the Egg Bowl era? And by it's smirk, not, it's, yeah. by smirk and I, I can already tell it's going to be great. Yeah, there, it's not good. You know, I mean, there's the cordial hellos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think the one thing that that changed that 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 made it tricky. I think both of us. Uh, Within the Egg Bowl, when I got to Mississippi State, there, there wasn't a lot that you're building off of. The program wasn't winning. They weren't doing well. There, there's not this massive tradition. And so it kind of went of, all right, let's start with the Egg Bowl. And how do we make this game bigger than life? You know, not that it wasn't already. Right. But real, I mean, that we're going to start by just, I mean, we are stoking the fire on this game. I think you came in and then we, we started having success. And you came in and said, hey, listen, we got we to gotta do the same thing. I'm going to stoke the fire back. Unfortunately, it became like an out of control blaze. Right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and I think you've seen it over the last couple of years. Yeah. And, I, and, and hopefully it, it's toned down. Then all of a sudden, you know, we're playing a game where we're both top five teams in the country. At which point you don't need the Egg Bowl fire anymore because you've legitimized both programs as national names and national top 25 teams. And, you know, the, it, it was, we use this to build the programs to this level. Um, I think, unfortunately, the fire was a little out of control at that point. So we, we, <laughs> we, we couldn't control it. And I think you've seen through the years, I, I, you know, at the back end of, of my term there. Yeah. Um, uh, it started to get a little ants, like even, you know, back from like the stoking the fire to out of control. We never had the antics, right? I, there was some at the very, very end. I remember there was like a, a, a one, I think that really caused issues. There was a, uh, in my last game there, Nick Fitzgerald gets hurt with a gruesome injury and their guys t- were standing taunting. And when you could see it was a gruesome injury. Yeah. And I think that lit a fire and that was my last year there. And I think, you know, the next year there's the, uh, you know, unfortunately, had antics by players that got, I think Matt Luke was kind of part of him getting yeah. let go of the game. And then there's brawls during the game. Yeah. I think so. What happened is, is we use this thing to build the programs up. And then the young guys coming in saw this fire 
and really kind of took it out of control. And I, I thought, um, you know, Lane and Mike Leach tried to reel it back in a little. They did, bit, yes. Uh, into making it a great rivalry and not, not to take anything away from the backyard brawl, but making it like a literal <laughs> backyard yeah, brawl, oh, whatever, yeah. where it was like, what is going to happen in this game outside of the game of football? And so um, I, I will say this in all my years coaching at all the schools I've been at, I, the, that is rive, definitely rivalry, the fiercest, nastiest, meanest, biggest rivalry game I've ever been involved in. I love it. I, I was, the, was there, were there urinal cakes or like stuff that you would step on? Is that, is that oh yeah, yeah yeah oh it was in the 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 you know every jersey was on they, their jerseys on the floor you put the <laughs> the urinal things in in the toilet you don't ever say we would never say the say we'd never like say the words old miss that was right. like that was like completely frowned upon like you never use those words um you know so the uh i i still don't think a lot of people in that Northern part, that Oxford area of Mississippi are very big fans of mine. The, um, you know, and I say Old Miss now, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm look gone. at you. I'm, I'm you're just, growing. I'm, I'm a regular person, but they, they still hold that possibly against me, but it, it, the whole deal. And I think I both say, I think it is just, it's one of those deals that makes everything special. You know, I'd love to call it a uh, egg bowl with you. Maybe we can see if, <laughs> if we can get that. I would I'll tell you what, if, if, if we get that one, that'll be, that would be, fun well you, you might see what it is when, when they have to get some you, you'll see some real i've been done getting well, lucky we, we for kinda, you we walk on the field walk up to the box you might try to avoid me at that one when they're gonna have to put like you know sheriffs and state troopers around me getting around. I, I called that game last year it was in oxford i think so this year it switches over to starkville so if we were to be fortunate enough to have that you might you might be a get little safer thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN+.